What's up guys, it's Ryan, you're watching Ryan Vision. It's another quick update on Project ZJ 1996 Jeep Grand Cherokee uh, with a 5.2 V8. It's got the 249 transfer case and right now it's sitting on a 4.5 inch uh, adjustable short arm suspension lift. And uh, if you've been keeping up on the videos, you already know what's been going on. But if not, make sure you like and subscribe the video uh, and check out the other ones because this is a series of more than one. I've got several videos uploaded already and I'm going to have a lot more on the way. So make sure you subscribe and check those out. So if you've been keeping up, you already know about the Iron Rock Off-Road Over the Knuckle Steering Kit. It's an inch and a quarter solid cold rolled steel on the tie rod and on the drag link. Real heavy duty and what it does is it brings the tie rod over the top of the steering knuckle instead of the bottom. And what's on the bottom here is just the drag link and you can see it just immediately angles upward so you still have a lot of clearance. It's a great steering kit. I'm not going to go too much into it in this video because there's another video all about just the steering kit. So check that out. Again, it's Iron Rock Off-Road and you can find them at ironrockoffroad.com. They got all kinds of goodies for these ZJs. So uh, anyways, what I wanted to go over is the thing we didn't do because it just ended up being late at night by the time we got done with the steering and everything. Um, what we didn't cover in the last video was this new steering box brace. And I just got this off eBay. Some guy on eBay makes these. And you can see all it does is it bolts on to where the uh, sway bar bolts and it just connects the two frame rails. It acts as a cross member. Uh, it just strengthens the whole thing. And then you can see up here, that's the steering box, the neck of the steering box where the pitman arm bolts on. And you can see that attached to this cross member, there's uh, you know like a ring with bolts on it and that's snug down real tight on the steering box so what that does is it prevents the frame from flexing the um, the mounting point of the steering box from flexing it just makes things a lot more rigid up front and uh, when you eliminate that flex you get better steering response and you get less of those annoying knocking and banging noises um, so check that out it was only 69 bucks I'll put the link in the description to the guys eBay uh, username and uh, came within a few days it's pretty heavy duty for what it is I mean it's nothing compared to like the iron rock tie rod and stuff but you don't need that up here you just need a little bit of extra uh, strength so and you can see here I don't know if I've mentioned this in any of the videos I went over to an aluminum radiator with an electric fan. So the next thing I'm doing is replacing the upper control arms. For now I'm just going to go with OEM replacements. They come with new bushings. Um, this one's bent. The passenger side's okay. Driver's side's bent so I'm replacing both just to get the new bushings. Um, these bushings are worn out and I think that's also part of my uh, knocking noises and stuff with steering. So I'll get those taken care of. I'm also going to put new uh, sway bar bushings because when we took this off to uh where are they at i can't see the screen hopefully that's on the right thing there we go so uh when we put this steering stabilizer or excuse me steering box brace on we noticed that the sway bar bushings were shot and that can make noise too and and give play um so i'm just trying to snug everything up i want it to feel real solid so uh put new sway bar bushings on put the new upper control arms with fresh bushings on and that'll be good for now then what I'll do is get a front end alignment on it I don't want to do it before I replace the bent upper control arm so now I'll go get a professional alignment done on it and once I'm satisfied with the alignment I'm gonna go buy some brand new 35 by 1250 tires I think I'm gonna do the Goodyear Kevlar's my buddy Joel's got those on his CJ7 and uh, we went to the Rubicon they did great these things got to go they're just dry uh, they're balding they're just no good they're all chewed up from the Rubicon they got bad cuts in them on the back ones not so much the front ones uh, so I'll get new tires because even once I go to a long arm 7 inch lift I'm still going to run 35 inch tires I'm not going to 37s 
so the new tires I get will work with my new lift. And that's the thing too on the steering kit, you can see everything's real close. We managed to get the steering stabilizer on there, but the clearances are so close, it doesn't hit. Uh, even flexing and stuff, it doesn't hit surprisingly, but all this stuff, you know, is meant for like a much bigger lift. This drop pitman arm that I have on here, that's going to work for my 7 inch lift. So, you know, once I get this thing up in the air a couple more inches, plus I'm going to have the adjustable coil seats, uh, you know, basically coil over so I can adjust even more and get a couple more inches, then all this stuff's going to open up and have way more clearance. Um, it just looks really tight right now, everything's so close, but it does handle good um, because the angles are less, you know, everything's not all at, at, at uh, extreme angles. So anyways, Iron Rock Off-Road Steering Kit's working out good. Uh, really, really like this little cross member thing going on, the steering box brace, so check that out. And uh, like I said, like the video, subscribe. And you'll see a lot more of the ZJ as Project ZJ continues until this thing's all done with steel bumpers and a winch and a 7 inch long arm and uh, rock sliders and the whole bit. It's going to be a badass rig. Stay tuned.